Today I have with me the brand new Skoda Scala 2024 facelift and in this video we will test drive it and I will give you my feedback on how it's on the road. Of course I have separate video on my channel, full review, interior, exterior, technical data, material quality, multimedia, everything about the car in a separate video, static review. In this video we will drive it and we will see how it's on the road. First of all we have 16 inch rims, alloy wheels, pretty simple brake this on the rear, ventilated brake this on the front brilliant silver is the name of this color and it looks quite brilliant uh, it looks really nice this is the key by the way, the classic key what you can do with the key, lock the car, unlock the car you can lock it also from the handle here and also unlock it just like that about everything else we will talk in a different video this is the selection version it's not Monte Carlo anymore because in the last time I test a lot of Monte Carlo but I like very much those fabric material seats we will talk about them in a different video I like the fact that you have side supports normal pedal down there let me go inside I like very much also the doors how they close we will see also the sound insulation as we go I like very 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 much the new digital cockpit that looks incredible nice the same we have on the new Kamik super nice super customizable also this is the screen and let me start the car this is the start engine button on the side we have the petrol engine in a second I will give you more uh, information you can adjust the steering wheel from here manually you can customize what you would like to see on the screen there from navigation to audio to car here we have also the let's see the consumption and all those informations let me reset it by the way the climatic system is on I will show you all those information as we go in, uh, in a review video so check out that video if you want to find out more information how it works the digital cockpit and also about the multimedia you can check out that video climatic system will be on low all the time low level one manual the car come with a manual handbrake and it doesn't have auto hold this is those two things i wish to be different i wish to have an electronic handbrake and auto hold function other than that uh, everything else it's just perfect the way it should be in a car down here you have a few buttons for star stop engine button parking sensors and this mode button it's for changing driving modes so you have echo you have normal mode sport mode and individual if you go to individual and if you go to customize you can customize the steering wheel and also the acceleration and all that stuff i forget to change change the language so if we go to settings here in the menu you go to the settings of the car on the second page set up and you can change the language from here very simple like that you have so many languages here to choose from and this is super useful and if you go to driver assistance systems you have all these safety features where you can activate and deactivate them from here from adaptive cruise control front assist lane assist all that stuff you have it around here so yeah if you go to car you see also information about the car I'm not going to go too much into detail right now I want to give you some technical data and then we will start first of all as I said before guys by the way if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car check out Skoda Amag in Bern I will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are super nice they will help you with everything so definitely check them out also this is Scala selection version and the version that I have with me it comes with one liter petrol engine three cylinders in line 115 horsepower the price of this car start at 32,570 but with all these options that we will talk in the review video it goes up to 36,420 euro now Technical data, 1,273 kilograms, it's pretty light, 5.4 liter estimated consumption, we will see how much consumption we can get, 122 grams CO2 emission, let me give you even more technical data, so 1 liter, 3 cylinders in line, 115 horsepower, 200 newton meter combined with a 7 speed automatic transmission DSG, the combination is great and as you probably know Volkswagen Group and also Skoda use on a lot of cars this DSG. SG 7 speed 
automatic transmission with a lot of engines and seems to work pretty good and that's really good another important thing 202 km per hour is the top speed of the car 0 to 100 in 10.1 seconds 131 grams CO2 emission around there I show you before front wheel drive system very important and 50 liter the tank space 10.2 meters the turning circle and other than that I think I cover almost everything let's drive it guys let me reset one more time the consumption perfect and let's drive it put down the handbrake put it in drive by the way you have drive d and s mode s mode if you go one more time down you see there drive and s s mode you put it in sport mode so the car will react faster and if you go right and then you have plus and minus you can change the gears manually and you can do it manually also from those pedals and you can see m1 right there writing on the screen let me put my favorite view navigation view in the front and let's drive it ah by the way you can adjust the mirrors from here electrically very simple just like that and also the other mirror wow the the visibility in the mirrors it's perfect i like those compact cars those subcompact cars uh, because you have such a the feeling it's so light it's so easy to drive and it's so agile for the city it's just phenomenal this model right here come with a lot of function like hit its steering wheel hit its seats hit its windshield it's it's fabulous um, and yeah more about that we will talk in the in the review video I like how light the car it feels so light 1200 kilograms it feels so light the steering it's relatively light oh, by the way we will drive in eco mode first of all um, it's it's crazy light and it goes around easy you have good visibility in the mirror up here on the side so I like that the seats have good support even though they are textile material fabric material uh, they feel pretty pretty comfortable and uh, they have that side support that's pretty good anyway let's go back to home Now, here are a few bumps. Let's see how it managed to do over the bumps. I'm really curious. There are some big, big bumps right here. The brakes and the pedal feel relatively good, even though the car was sitting for a long time. Uh, I saw the brakes have a little bit of rust on them, but they will be like new after this trip. Not bad, man, not bad, not bad, pretty good another one here is bigger we have another one another test yeah it's doing great not bad I really like it it's so agile it feels agile it feels light to drive I love this steering wheel this two-spoke steering wheel looks so so sexy so nice the grip is fantastic it's leather you have physical button here man I like it I really like it even though it doesn't have this new shape like we saw this trend these days it's still uh, nice and light and you have a good visibility through the steering wheel to the screen this one here pretty good visibility I wish although this one to be tilted to the driver a little bit you know that would be nicer here behind the steering wheel you have a stalk to uh, control the cruise control and activate the lane assist and all that stuff I will show you when we go outside on the highway but other than that until now I have to say I like the car it's, it's not such a big difference from in terms of driving feeling it's not super different from the previous model so it felt it felt relatively the same to be honest almost the same sound insulation at low speed in the city here with some traffic around seems to be very good so the sound insulation it's it's pretty fine we see uh, on the highway as well at higher speeds I like also the gearbox man that this is something that I already knew this uh, gearbox in combination with any engine they use one liter or 
five or whatever uh, it seems to work pretty good it seems to work so so smooth it's set up so good it's changing exactly in the perfect time it's set up perfectly for echo comfort sport mode the brakes are also great they feel good and smooth we don't have auto hold I think this is the only thing that I wish to be different um, and also this manual handbrake but the manual handbrake seems to be good quality so I couldn't complain about that you can put it in park here not in reverse like I did and it seems to, to work quite fine I really like the Okay, it stays good in curves. It's turned light, nice. Wow, it's changing so smooth, the gears. Press the brake, go back to 60 here. Yeah? We have some nice curves around to go around here. Nice. It feels super super smooth. I like it. It feels smooth and also the suspension feels fine. I have to drive slower here. Definitely slower to avoid those speed tickets. But I like I like the fact that when we drive 60 right now, it felt like we are moving super slow. That means That's good when you drive the car and you you drive like 60 and you feel like you're driving 30 that means the car it's good build and it has good quality and that's what I feel here in this Scala And here are a few bumps I notice is doing fine What I notice on this car is the fact that it didn't come with didn't come with blind spot technology but it's run so smooth I like how smooth it's running you can read the traffic speed limit as well and you can activate from here if you pull it once you can activate from here I don't know if you can see this cruise control lane assist lane assist meaning the car will definitely travel assist is selected AC is tra uh, travel assist is selected and right now if you go a little bit faster for example let's go to 80 travel assist is uh, you have to activate it from here and right now the car will hold you between the lanes will accelerate will brake will do the job like an autopilot and it warn you from time to time to put your hands on the steering wheel but other than that on the highway where the car sees the lanes very clearly uh, will stay between the lanes in a in a good way and you can see that it's doing a pretty good job even though here are some construction sites it's doing pretty pretty good warning from time to time and you can see you can change also this view in the front there so for example you can see so many views you can see also the assistance systems and when you activate those assistance systems, yeah, let, let me go on the first lane better. And then uh, activate again. And right now you can see in the front there how the lane assist is working. Yeah, pretty cool. You have so many views to change. This is my kind of my favorite and you can also activate is activated it's still doing the great job it's still driving itself look at this still driving itself stay between the lanes so I told you when the lanes are visible it works really really fine so yeah it's quite good and you can set up a higher speed move it to 100 from this tall behind the steering wheel uh, we'll go to 100 
and you can see in the front it shows you that it's a car in the left side it's kind of a warning even though you have the navigation in the middle it still gives you that that warning you see it's, it's working really fine and the car will brake accelerate depending what the car will do so we'll hold the speed and from my point of view it's a super useful uh, feature and the great part is that um, it's integrated in all this money of course you have to pay some extra I will explain you that uh, how much cost this option in a review video so stay close to see that as well anyway now let's change the driving modes let's go in sport mode and we'll see how the car will react I already saw how the engine goes in higher RPMs at 100 km per hour it seems the sound insulation seems to be fine the engine seems to be silent you hear a little bit of noise from outside but nothing serious until 100 we will see when we go back on the other side uh, also in terms of power I go uphill there it feels quite good up to 100 km per hour even though you have a one liter three cylinder ah you saw that man the suspensions are fine the suspensions are good uh, until 100 km per hour you have more than enough power the car it's it's very responsive and I will show you this in a second when we go back on the highway there it's I think it's fantastic this engine it's fantastic for driving uh, in the city and also in countries as Switzerland because in Switzerland you have top speed 120 km per hour most of the time you drive 100 around their average speed maybe 80 and it's perfect man I mean for the city for um, for going on the highway sometimes but speeds up to 120 I think it's just fabulous also in this curve it stays oh it stays quite nice and the brakes again feel great stop here start start stop system also working quite good I like it I like the car man it's not bad not bad if it has this you see you have also downhill assist you have the downhill assist for a few seconds but it doesn't have the auto hold function the same as Peugeot cars man it's so light it's so so smooth I don't know why but I really trust this system I mean this Volkswagen Group's transmission DSG plus the the engines that they produce the diesel and even the petrol ones I, I definitely trust them even though maybe sometimes you have unlock and something broke but most of the time they are reliable and they are trustworthy we go inside the tunnel so you can see the light inside the tunnel as well the way it looks in the night time oh it looks lovely this digital cockpit looks so beautiful and even the multimedia it's so such a nice colors the background light look great so it doesn't bother you to the eyes it's it's something big definitely in this price range to come with this digital cockpit it's it's something big big probably one of the most beautiful cockpit out there roundabout ooh, you turn it in a small space super easy so the turning circle seems to be small so it's great for the city back in the tunnel again you can see right here you can also activate autopilot here put it to 50 and the car will do the job even in in a tunnel in the night time we will talk also about the lightning system it has LED lights when we will talk in the review video you see it's still still even on those streets uh, it's still doing a great job even though you have only one lane and here you have to take the control so yeah most of the time it's great for the highway but anyway have your hands on the steering wheel for for safety on any car doesn't matter which car you have to have your hands on the steering wheel for the safety reason 
and also pay attention to the road right now the car it's slowing down oh I, I notice over the bumps the car is doing great so good suspension um, sound insulation at those kind of speed seems to be really fine even though here is normal glass you see the difference you can hear the difference it's not perfect but you, you hear sometimes some noise but not not nothing serious I mean it's something that you expect I like also the dash it looks quite nice modern clean we have the Oh, and you have also a little bit of wow it really push you I didn't expect that for one liter three cylinders not bad not bad I told you up to 100 kilometer you wouldn't expect it's a three cylinder <laughs> probably if I would drive directly the car without knowing any technical data up to 100 you don't know that and we will go on the highway and then we go uphill to see how it's how is the power But it feels good, unexpectedly. Side support on the seats are great. As quotas start to be more and more premium and premium and they bring more things, more great things uh, with this facelift. I'm really curious to see the new model, how good it is. So you see we have 80, we reach 80 without any problem with the car. And then even if we go on the highway now, we go uphill 100 to see, we will see also how is the speed. You can see from 80 to 100 uphill, oh, no problem, no problem. Wow, surprisingly, probably this is, I don't know, one of the most Look at this, it's crazy going uphill, 120 almost, and it still has some power, what? Probably one of the most powerful three cylinder, one liter engine, not sure about that, but really, really, it feels like it really push you and you can cross pass other cars and we, look at this, let me activate autopilot again. We drive 100 and it didn't feel under power at all. And we go uphill now. In sport mode, of course, but it doesn't matter. Now the car in front approach and the car is broke, braking. You saw the brake? It's braking, the car in front is go away and then our car accelerate right now. It's working fine, it's working fine. It's not perfect like Tesla ones or the ones I saw on other super premium cars, but it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's definitely fine for the price where the car is located. And it's still doing a great job. Now we go downhill, press the brake a little bit, uh, down here, change the, oh, now where is the buttons? <laughs> yeah, I want to go back to normal mode, okay, we drive in normal mode, but surprisingly now in normal mode the power is come slower slower and slower if you go back to echo the same thing now it's too bad that when we go downhill now we cannot uh, recuperate any energy at all because it's not any mild hybrid or hybrid full hybrid or stuff like that it's just a pure petrol engine but surprisingly surprisingly it's pretty quick I didn't expect to be that quick that's that's my my surprise in this video in this with this car in this test it's for the first time when I drive this car and this new facelift I mean with this configuration and I'm surprised how how responsive it is I didn't expect, I was 1 liter 3 cylinder, 115 horsepower, okay, but it's pretty quick, I mean, it's quicker than, than uh, other 1 to 1.2 liter 3 cylinders that I test 
for example, I test Peugeot 208, the new one, and was not that quick as this one. So I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, I definitely like those engines from Volkswagen Group and this co uh, configuration with this gearbox. I like them. They are, they are pretty fine, and they work a lot on, on improving them over the years. So, uh, yeah, pretty nice. I can say it's it's a pretty good setup. Uh, the sound insulation from 1 to 10 I will say around 7. Suspension 8. Um, what else? Um, comfort is very good. 9. The seats are super comfy. Visibility is great, steering and all of, all of those stuff, 9, 10, it's, it's, it's really good, I like it. Visibility also great, cockpit and all this technology, super nice. I like it. I want to test it on high speeds, too bad in Switzerland I can't do that because we don't have here uh, super, super high speed highways here. Uh, but definitely let me go right here. Uh, we don't have super uh, 120 is maximum and around here we don't have any 120 highway I have to go super farther away for 120 so uh, I will plan I plan to get the car to test it on the highway at high speeds soon look how smooth are also the brakes yeah the system feel good feel mature feel uh, like it like like it's something built in time with experience and all that stuff it feels quite quite fine quite premium I should say so I like it soft material textile material around here and the car can read the traffic speed limits look at this man are you serious it didn't even turn the signal it's just having an Audi right I'm the boss man drive Audi I can turn the signals with my invisible mind anyway um, lovely 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 car yeah I I didn't expect to be honest to be that good but it's pretty good uh, anyway if you still have question ask me down below guys uh, we will see the consumption in a second when we end up this trip maybe they now nah, the turning signal doesn't work on that car it's broke even look we go uphill and it's pretty powerful even if we are in normal mode right now and from here you change driving mode put it in echo nice the climatic system it's on we will see in a second also the consumption even the stalks feel good quality when you touch them Oh, yes, over the bumps is not bad at all. It feels good. Now let's park it here. I think the car come with a reverse camera. I didn't check before. I definitely forget to check, but we will see right now. If we go in reverse. Yeah, it has the same as the new comic. And you have those active lines that guide you to the parking lot so you can park it very simple it comes also with uh, parking sensors on reverse I saw that before uh, on the front I don't think it has parking sensors but uh, it has on the reverse and it's pretty good and you can see you can see also with many views it has this park assist it has the trailer assist the wide view it's, they are super useful anyway manual handbrake uh, let's see guys first of all very important consumption where is this let's see the consumption where is that driving data oh 6.1 liter eight that's the consumption let me stop the car now uh, with the climatic system was on all the time on low level one so surprisingly good this engine i didn't expect a one liter three cylinder to be that quick and that responsive even if we go uphill 
suspension good, visibility good, comfort on those seats. I mean, for me, it's it's fantastic. Nothing to complain. Even though it's textile material, they look nice and they feel really, really comfy. Yeah, it's a well-built car, man. I mean, it's a reliable, trustworthy car made in Volkswagen Group. So, yeah, the new Skoda Scala facelift, from my point of view, might be a very interesting car for you if you are in the market for a subcompact car to drive uh, along daily also in the city also outside on the highway i didn't test it at high speeds over 100 uh, but uh, yeah i'm planning to do that so stay close to see that as well i'm really looking forward to hear your feedbacks write me down below if you have experience with the car and tell me what you think about the car if you have question ask me down below whatever you want to ask if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car check out skoda Amag in Bern in Switzerland if you are around here they are very nice they will help you with everything so definitely check them out thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos if you want to see the full review interior exterior with the same car I have a separate video on my channel so definitely check it out because you will find out everything about the car also stay close thank you very much to all of you don't forget to like share subscribe and I guess I see you soon in the next one bye guys